Attack! Attack! Hardly anything attracts and fascinates people more than the art of handling a sword or a fencing stick. This sport can be traced back to the ancient Egyptians, where official competitions gave huge crowds the opportunity to marvel at the combat. Although the fight object has changed during history and differed from culture to culture, the basic principle of winning and losing a fight for power have always been the same. During our Leadership Academy, we practice the art of stick fighting every morning throughout 10 days. We do not see the counterpart as an opponent, but rather as a partner and the fight itself as a communication process. The stick fencing allows a playful and creative exchange with the partner, which leads to an invigorating dialogue. A single fencing hit says more than a thousand words. We get to know each other immediately and realize that with one person we straight away have a harmonic dialogue, while with others it takes some time to find a common rhythm. And this we experience with our colleagues on a day-to-day -day basis at work. Those who practice fencing less in the sense of a fight and competition, but much more in the form of a dialogue, learn over time the power of self-control and self-discipline. In stick fighting we practice empathy by feeling the strength and the speed of the partner and to find a common rhythm that suits both parties. The first day we see that some people learn the basic steps very quickly while others struggle to combine the footwork and the movement of the stick, but after the 10 training days everyone gets the basic steps right. Another hidden message that lies within the stick fighting is to show the participants that if we practice anything we want to achieve, we will become the master of our goal.